Alicia, our table looks very full, very festive. What craft are we working on today? We're actually going to cover two crafts today. One is going to be planter pokes, and then the other, we're going to show you how you can decorate your pumpkins without the hassle of carving. Okay, so we're going to start with the planter pokes. What supplies do we need? So just the basics that you have in your craft cupboard. Foam, chenille, jiggly eyes, your glue, some paint, and wood dowels. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first of all, you know, we've done some different ones on the table here. You can see we've done the black cat, and we've done a crazy hand coming out of the grave. Um, what you want to do to get started is draw your design on a piece of paper, and then go ahead and cut it out and trace it onto your foam. So we've created the pumpkin design, we've gone ahead and cut it out, and then we've traced it onto our foam and cut that out, as you can see here. Okay. Okay. So then we've also gone ahead and cut out the pieces of the pattern for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And we've traced that onto black foam and then cut those pieces out as well. So you can see here. Okay. So far simple, but with the help of a parent. Obviously. Yes, okay. yes. You can be creative here. It doesn't have to be a traditional jack-o'-lantern, which is what we're working on. Um, it's really your, up to your own imagination. So once you've got all your pieces cut out, what I suggest you do is just lay them out for placement before you start doing any gluing to make sure you're happy, one, with the design, and two, with where everything's going to go. Is the glue that we're going to use going to be able to withhold the weather elements outside? Yes, to some degree. I think that it's best that if you're putting these planter pokes outside, it's in a covered veranda or close to the house. Okay, perfect, because right now we're getting ready for fall and we're getting rid of our planters, and this is one way we can keep it out a little bit longer. That's right, that's right. So once you've laid everything out, you can go ahead and start gluing. What type of glue are we using? We're actually going to use tacky glue. Okay, and that's good for any... Yes. Any material? Good for any craft material. It's a quick bonding adhesive, flexible, that sort of thing. Okay. So Tracy, when you're decorating your jack-o'-lantern, you can go ahead and be a little creative outside of the eyes and the mouth to add some hair and um, add the mouth. And, and you can see here, we, we took some chenille and kind of made the eyes pop out of the out of the jack-o'-lantern just to add a, a, a 3D element. That looks great. That looks really good, being very creative and yeah, personalizing kind of fun. them. That's right. So then the last step is really to take your dowel rod and any paint that you have at home. Um, we've used black. And just go ahead and paint your dowel rod, let it dry, and then glue it to your shape. Mm -hmm. And once that's dry, you can stick it into your planter poke. I really like this project. What are we going to work on next? Well, next, we're actually going to go ahead and decorate the pumpkins. Okay. So again, using all of the things that you have from your craft cupboard, your foam, mm -hmm. jiggly eyes, we've used some shimmer and shine and some, some glitter. Um, we've used fur over here. We've used some feathers. Really anything that you can get from your craft cupboard that can help you be creative and decorate the pumpkins. Okay, so something that the whole family can work on because it is safer than having to carve. Right? That's right. And what's great about this as well, Tracy, is that each person of the family can decorate it the way they want. Perfect. Key thing as a mom, bus mess. Right. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see here before we get to our pumpkin, I just wanted to talk about how you can use the fur to create hair and a beard. We've used here the foam to create a, a witch's hat, and then we've used the glitter to create the hair, um, really just adding a lot of dimension and 3D effect to mm -hmm. the pumpkins. So let's get started. Okay, so here's our pumpkin. Okay, and then there's some supplies there that we already have pre-done. We've got a little bow tie here. You can see we've used the foam to cut out the triangle shapes and then used a pom-pom for the bow tie. Um, we've created a mustache. And so again, just as we did with the last project, you can trace your stuff out on paper first, make sure you like it, and then go ahead and cut it out and trace it onto your foam. So we've gone ahead and done all that. So really um, using the pom-poms here with the jiggly eyes to create the eyes. And now it's just about gluing it onto the pumpkin. Okay, and again, tacky glue? Yep, tacky glue works perfectly. And there you go, Tracy. Very, very creative. Unbelievable how you turned a basic pumpkin into this. Where can somebody go to get more information on all the products used here today? They can log on to elmers.com. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tracy. If you would like more information on products used for today's crafts, visit their website. 